Hello everybody, I'm Dave Chaos and welcome to another mod spotlight. This one is the custom NPCs mod. It isn't a new mod, but it has been updated to 1.4.2. So, for those of you who haven't seen it, you can probably find this very interesting. Uh, for those of you who had, uh, there's nothing vastly new that you haven't already seen. Um, but here we go. This is going to be my mod spotlight on it. So, basically, all this does is give you the ability to add in custom NPCs. And as you can see, here is a whole load of preset ones that I've spawned in. So you've got, you know, Steve. You've also got female Steve, who's got some very questionable blocky boobs there. <laughs> Her stature is a little bit smaller than Steve is as well, which is um, something I'll show you in a little while. There's the, um, the, the dragon crystal, which is now an entity. Uh, you've got dwarves that you can make, elves, oh my god, there's, there's all sorts of stuff, wolves, zombies, oh, I forgot what they're called now, is it an anaga, sea creatures, yep, yeah, male, female, pretty much male, female, we've got uh, Pinkie Pie and all the others as well that are available, whether they're called um, oh, ponies, my little pony is it? Yeah, probably is, and of course, you know, villagers and uh, Skeleton. Skeleton. Okay, so those are like all the presets. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna experiment with just one and all of the awesome things you can do with it. So what you're gonna need to uh, start creating NPCs is is one of these, which is an NPC wand. There is other items which we'll cover later on. And uh, basically to make one of these you need two bread, two sticks in that formation. It's basically like a hoe. And that makes a wand. So, all you do is go up to an area and right click, and it will bring up this. This is where all the magic happens. So as you can already see, uh, you've got a name, uh, you've got model, the size, the texture, you can change the textures, you can show cloaks right there, uh, and then you've got standing, rotate head. So we're going we're gonna to go over this, so we'll show you. So let's, um, let's call this guy, <laughs> let's go for the standard Bob. So there we go. He's now called Bob. You can either show his name, hide his name, or only show his name when he's attacking. We'll leave it on the show for now. So Bob is going to be, sorry, let me just show you what I did there. I clicked on human male where where it says model. You click on there and it brings up this list. And these are all the different models that are available at the moment. So let's make Bob a dwarf male. Select. And there we go. We have ourselves Bob. He looks Surprisingly like Simon from the Yogg's cast. <laughs> it is essentially his skin. God, Simon would love this. So what you can do now is you can change his size. Uh, you've got a choice of 1 to 30. So let's just put him on 1. Close that. And his miniature Bob is now tiny. Yay! <laughs> uh, let's put him on 30. He should be ginormous now. There we go. Whoa, that's one big dwarf. <laughs> Yeah, not quite a dwarf. But, uh, yeah, we're going to put him on, I don't know, let's say six. There we go. So he's a little bit larger than average. A little bit larger than average. So then you get your textures, uh, which are basically just PNG files, uh, like you would with your normal texture for your own character. Uh, you can add in your own, but there is a whole lot of preset ones. So we're going to have a quick look. Um, so each model has its set of uh, skins. So here we go. These are... There's King Dwarf, <laughs> Ginger King, yep, there's Simon, and there's a Viking one. Let's, let's go to Dwarf King, so let's let's have him. And then you can select cloaks, there's no cloaks selected at the moment, so you just go on there, and it shows you the back of him there, as you can see, and you've got, you know, a tattered one, the Minecon cape, and a bunch of different colours. Uh, let's go for purple one, there we go, and let's have a look at him now. Ooh, hang on, before the sun goes down and I get myself murdered by a creeper or something, let's put the sun back up. <laughs> okay, so there he is. There's King Bob, the dwarf, with his cape, looking rather dashing. Uh, there's a few other things you can do. You've got standing, walking, and sitting, and lying. So, oh, and standing, sneaking, so, and sneak walking, and dancing. <laughs> oh, God, okay. So, standing is basically that. Uh, walking, and you've got walk range, and this is in blocks. So if we change this, well, in fact, let's just leave it as five and close that. What he'll do now is he should wander, yes, he will wander about 
in a five block radius um, and just please himself you know he's been mooching about let's click on him again to show you what else he can do so if we put him on sitting he should go back to where he was originally there he is and he's now sat down yay so this this mod is awesome if you want to create like a custom map um, with NPCs it's it's perfectly doable you know you've got factions as well which we'll cover later so you can have enemies and factions and all that sort of business but we're going over the the beginnings the basics here uh, we've got rotate head so you can tell him to look in certain directions at the moment his head is at free roam so we'll be just like looking around and you know looking more natural than he normally would uh, then we've got lion which as you can guess is he's just lay down fast asleep and then we've got uh, sneak standing so he'll just stand there like he's bowed or sneaking and then of course you can have him sneak walking and again he's got a five block radius that he'll walk about in like that so he's sneaking about sneaky bob uh, and then we've got dancing dancing's awesome check the dance out oh yeah get down to that funky groove <laughs> and again we rotate head and a few other uh, you got position offset as well on some of these options, which means if you um, want him to be stood on the edge of this block, you can do that. Uh, that's just you know your X, Y, Z axis. Uh, so you can have him flying if you like. You can have him up there dancing away, uh, and then we wait back around to standing. So there we go. So those are the basic options on what you can do. Uh, now we're going to have a look at some of the more advanced stuff. So you've got stats. Okay, so now you can have him. Uh, he can fight back if he's attacked, uh, he can run around if he's attacked, or he does nothing when he's attacked. We'll leave it on fight back, you can choose his health, his attack range, his normal walking speed, uh, whether he respawns and when he respawns, so that's like in 20 seconds if he dies he'll respawn. Uh, you've got your strength, attack speed and attack walking speed. And then you can also have it on show body when killed, so he could be there as a dead body until he respawns, which is, which is pretty cool. Uh, then you've got inventory, which is awesome. You're going to love this. So let me show you now. Let's exit out of that. And we're going to go on to uh, the creative inventory. And I'll show you. Inside this mod, there are tons and tons of things. Let's make sure we cover everything. So here we go. So the mod maker has basically added in quite a lot of custom stuff for people who have already created maps. Because this is a, a well-established mod. There is a lot of things available for it. Uh, and you can even request this sort of stuff in the forum. Uh, I'll be linking to the website because there's a ton of information on this website. There's FAQs, a full list of the items, uh, there's content packs and things like that. So these items you see here, these are like um, things that have been added for custom quests, which are there for you to use as well. Uh, you've also got uh, things like a lighter, which actually works. Uh, but this is the interesting bit. He's added in this is not for you to use but you can use them these are mainly for the NPCs to use so there is a ton of custom weapons and armor available uh, like you can see there that like, there's guns, armors, loads of different types of armors uh, throwing stars, knives, staffs, tridents wow wow there's just loads of it so if we wanted our king to have uh, let's see now if there's any scepters he's got a mace an emerald mace that looks kind of funky. I don't know, I don't know. What should we give him? What should we give him? Our king should really have something golden. So we're going to give him a golden shield and one of these. Let's see, a short golden dagger maybe. Um, a, a bronze battle axe. Let's give him a. Oh, hang on, we've got a gold one there. Let's give him a, a golden battle axe. And we're going to give our king some some armor as well so we're gonna mix it up a bit we've got a crown and another crown so hopefully that won't clip too much with what he's got on let's give him what's this here that's a tactical vest <laughs> not very uh, king like is it I don't know you got wizard chests there let's just put him in a, a golden chest and golden boots so here we go so we need to click on him again with our, our PC wand and go to his inventory and we can now equip these things let's put his crown on yep it doesn't clip too badly chest and boots and then we put the weapon slot there and his shield there uh, and then you can also customize um, experience that will drop 
so he's got a minimum amount of experience that he'll drop and a maximum amount of experience he'll drop when he's killed. You can also add in um, drops that he'll have. So again, you can create quests where you say, you know, the mission is to kill the king, uh, the dwarven king, and he drops, I don't know, golden ingots. So what we can do is, let's, let's close that. There's him holding all his gear. Let's see now, if we wanted him to drop, if we wanted him to drop his shield and his battle axe and say, um, let's see, a golden block, there we go, and click on, on him again, inventory, so he drops his shield, his axe, and a golden block, and we can say the drop rate on his shield is 50%, uh, oops, 50%, oh, hang on, oh, there's, there seems to be a bug there, it's stuck on my mouse, yeah, it's stuck to my mouse, that's, that's a shame, okay, we found a bug! Way we can report that at least. <laughs> this has only just been ported to uh, 1.4.2, so there we go. But yeah, uh, when that's fixed, you should be able to do. You will be able to select your drop rate of shields and items. So you'll be able to select the drop rate of that one, and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, there we go. So let's just close that. You can have a look. So there he is. He's holding his items that we've just assigned to him, and that's what it looked like. And now we'll move on to uh, the advanced stuff. So, okay, <laughs> it gets complicated, but there is a lot of stuff on the website to help you through all this tutorials. I'm just giving you a general spotlight overview. Uh, we can give him a role, so he can be a trader, he can follow you around, he can be a bank, he can be a transporter, or he can just have no role. You can give them jobs, so like a bard, uh, there's guitars to give to them like that. Unfortunately, don't play music yet. Uh, you've got healers, guards, Item givers, uh, then you can give them lines. So you got things that you want them to say can go into here. You can type your own little lines. Uh, you got factions as well, so you can make them aggressive, friendly, or neutral. Uh, don't attack hostile factions, you know. So you can set up two whole factions and have them as a warring faction. If they ever cross each other's paths, they will actually kill each other or attempt to kill each other. Um, and then you got dialogue, so you can you can write up whole scripts. You know, so, okay, we've got Villager, let's select that one. It's very, very simple. Um, but there's tutorials on the website how to do all of this and how to add more stuff and set up factions. You know, I'll link the website in the description as always so you can have a good look at this if you want to give this a go. Make some custom maps. Oh my god, yeah, awesome. So, here's some of the global options. You've got banks. Uh, oh man, it gets complicated. I'm going to leave this out of the video because, you know, we're going to be here all day otherwise. Uh, then you've got your factions, you can set up your factions with names and colours. So, you know, they use uh, the, the standard Minecraft colour codes, if you know what those, if you don't know what those are, just, just Google them. Dead easy. Uh, you've got your dialogues, which you can add more dialogues in, like we've already said. Quests, here's, here's where you can add your quests, you literally put, you know, find, whoop, right, sorry about that. So you can put find Dave Chaos, and you could make an NPC, uh, one of me. So let's go back on there. Uh, then you got like transport. You got default, so you can edit this and do all that sort of business. And then again, you know, all the uh, how tos and tutorials are all on there. Uh, you got player data, which is another thing that I'm not going to go into onto this recipes. On how to make certain things like there you go there's the uh, diamond gun uh, you can create your own recipes for certain things bullets you know right so if you didn't want that to be made out of uh, emeralds or you wanted to craft you want it to be more expensive for example then you could change that uh, diamond bullets <laughs> uh, wooden guns so yeah as you can see this is very extensive well polished and um, Needs a couple of updates here and there, but that's all I'm going to cover. Uh, I think you guys, you know, should definitely check this one out. Have some fun with it. You know, download a custom map from somewhere, and uh, you know, I don't know, get yourself a little dwarven army going, dwarves against the wolves or something crazy like that. Um, you can also, you know, you can, you can just do so much. It's unbelievable, and uh, it's based on Forge. So there's, there's not much to install other than Forge. I just want to show you this because I know what you lot are like. You're going to like this. You can change the texture to anyone. Look at this. They're all in there. 
because you just want to know. You, oh, I know what you like. Let's just change it to blueberry muffin. Look. Oh, look. Oh, um, let's make a dead small. Let's make a size one. Oh, look. Oh. And you can have a following you around like a little pet. In fact, <laughs> let's um, walk in Vance. Let's. Oh, I'm going. No job. Trader, follower. There we go. Come on now. I think that's right, isn't it? Oh, okay, right. This is something I need to set up. I've not set it up, but yeah. You could potentially set up an NPC <laughs> to pee your pet like so. Let's let's just go crazy now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright guys, um I hope you enjoyed that. You know, give it a go, have a mess about. There's so much stuff involved. And that I couldn't possibly cover it all in a video. And uh, yeah, I might actually be doing um, a Let's Play which uses this mod, uh, which is called Skyrim Craft. You may have heard of it. And uh, look out for that on my channel soon. If you did like this video, please remember to like and favourite, and all the links in the description as usual. Alright, guys, catch you later.